He directs this power to those who believe. Any moment you sense a thought trying to get you to stop believing God, if you could see in the spirit realm, you would see an invasion of darkness against your mind trying to take from you the very faith that the Word of God promises us that we have. I tell you when those thoughts come, I don't know how you handle it, those thoughts come to me sometimes. I have to wrestle those thoughts sometimes. I have to fight those fights of faith sometimes. When the enemy comes in and says this will happen or that can't happen or that's too big or that takes too much or you can't afford that or the church can't do that or God can't heal that. What do you do, pastor, when you hear those voices? I tell you what I do. I immerse myself in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and I remind the devil and my flesh that God is not a man that he should lie or the son of a man that he would change his mind if he said he would heal I don't care how big the tumor or the mass or the incurability of the COVID strain I serve Jehovah Rapha he is the Lord I want to take a praise break right here I want to praise the God who has all power I want us to praise the God who has all power. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is beyond his, his help and his hope. We give you praise, Abba. We give you praise, Abba. Woo! Somebody just let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah!